last week. Um, but now it's time to move on and we're doing on the Ales PR today, which we're really excited about. Here comes Wes. First lock of the day, and it's the last lock before we turn off onto the Aylesbury Arm. The Aylesbury Arm is a narrow canal. We haven't actually done a narrow lock since. Which is pretty crazy to think about. But it's just a short little arm, so we're looking forward to doing it. And we've got something pretty important to do while we're there as well. For now, last wide lock for probably a few weeks. Everything was groovy. And lately we've been half-hearted West Side Story Don't feel pretty West Side Story Don't feel pretty anymore That time of the week Just doing the facilities before we go down the end of round Well, quite hot today Winter <laughs> And while Wes is doing the Elson, I am doing some washing because we're just about to fill it with water. So it is done. Just got to reverse back to the junction now, so the Aylesbury arm. Amy's doing this one because I need to do the locks. Doesn't seem it, but it is quite windy today as well. The wind is pushing that way. Comes the wind. Windy. We should reverse them over there, and then we just need to go down there. into our dinky little narrow lock. Look how small it is. It's so tiny. First lock on the Aylesbury is a staircase. It's the first staircase lock we've done in a while. It's only a staircase of two. But basically it's two locks joined together. So Amy's in that top lock. There's a bottom one here. They all use the same water. So basically I have to empty this lock into this lock. They'll level out and Amy will drive into the second lock. And then I'll let her down that as well. It's so weird being in a single lot. Like, we don't have to worry about the boat being bashed around. And it just feels so tight and, like, narrow. So Amy's going down in this lock now, and the water is going straight into this adjoining lock. And then I'll we'll open these gates and she can come through. Downside staircase locks is the gates are really, really tall. <sighs> Even though they're narrow, they weigh a ton. There we go. Same is going to come through into the second lock now. And look, more evidence of spring. Come on, little guy. A lot of walking back and forth there around the staircase lock. And now, just need to empty this bottom lock. First time we ever did one of these, it was really scary at Grindley Brook on the Langoffland, but they're not too bad once you get used to the how they work.
rain's really coming down now. It was supposed to be sunny all day. We're in Blackjack's lock number four. The single locks are so quick to empty. Looks like the towpath's been flooded. Good job Wes has got his wellies on. Bit wet? A little bit. We've swapped for a little bit because one of the reasons why Amy does the locks and I do the driving is because on lock flights like this, you really need to concentrate, particularly with her ADHD. She really struggles to kind of like retain that focus when there's nothing really interesting happening. So we're gonna swap round. I'm gonna eat a little sandwich that she's made me. Um, but she's gonna, she's gonna use the ratchet windlass and take it really slowly. Because I'm not meant to be doing much strenuous work because of my tooth, I've got out the go windlass, ratchet windlass. And it's actually so good because you can ratchet it back and then you only have to like press or you can pull it that's how you prefer it's just so much easier and so much less strenuous i definitely recommend them if you maybe have a bad back or um, you just don't have as much arm strength maybe um it's just really good or like me i just use my normal one a lot but if there's a particular stiff lock or a paddle that just won't go I'll always get this out on the boat now because there is potentially a mooring spot here we hope anyway fingers crossed we've not actually covered that much distance there's just so many locks in such a short space of time so we're all moored up now and it seems like a really nice spot there is a little village nearby. We don't even know what it's called or where we are. So we're just gonna go on a little walk to try and cheer us up because we've both been having a bit of a difficult day. Depression's been hitting hard today for no apparent reason, which is always fun. I'm absolutely exhausted as well because I have a thing called nightmare disorder. Which is basically where nine times out of 10, I just have really horrible nightmares. So I don't sleep very well when that's happening. So I've just had, just no energy all day. I mean, we did do a lot yesterday. 
Yeah. But it's probably a combination of everything. So yeah. we're gonna try and cheer us up. More signs of spring there. Seems like we're in a town called Wiltstone. Feel a bit better. A little bit. We were going to have a look in the pub, but it's quite busy, and we've got this guy. And it was one of those pubs where, like a local one, where you walk in and everyone's like, "You're not from around here." So we left. <laughs> we'll probably attempt again when we're feeling a bit more confident. Today we're in a rush. Deeps' health has taken a bit of a turn for the worse. And last night he didn't look good. So we've got to rush to where we were supposed to be going today, but casually, in the hope that we can get a taxi to the vet. Psychology in a different way to live at it all. My perspective is broken If suffering's a way to earn your care I better start putting miles on my feet But I'm so tired Wandering to pull into Aylesbury Canal Society which is where we've got a week's free visitor moorings booked which is exciting. So we're at the marina now. Amy's just gone to find the welcome boat which is the person you have to speak to about the temporary visitor moorings. And while we were cruising, she went to check on dupes. And he's got a problem with his ear that last night looked way worse, but she's just checked and it looks fine now and he seems perfectly himself, but last night was a totally different story. So either way, we've, we've got a vet appointment in about an hour. So we're hopefully gonna try and get a set up here and then take him to that and go from there. But oh, pets, senior pets are, so stressful. Seems like a lovely marina though. <sighs> Hello, it's been about two seconds since I spoke to you last, but it's actually been several hours for me. I've taken dupes to the vet in the taxis. It's not as bad as we thought. He's basically just needed a little bit of a, a checkup, but this situation is about the same as it was. But at the moment we need to move the boat because this is just like a waiting area. Our actual mooring is in there. <laughs> we've just sort of been left to figure out how to moor up. So we've just had a look and we're just gonna drive in and see what happens really. I don't know, a bit frazzled today to be honest. It's like a little lift bridge to get in and man's just got to pull it open. Thank you, Mr. Bridge Operator. I'm a troll. <laughs> <laughs> Got to swing around to get in behind that boat jack, that blue one on the end. 
little bit of maneuvering required. Takes me back to Double Warren in London, that does. I think it'd be alright. Rufus can get on and off, even if it is a bit awkward. Hello, it's later now. It's been a very sporadic day. But it's been a really challenging 24 hours, but we're settled now. We're in the marina, it's quiet, everyone around seems really nice. And we think we're just going to settle down for the day, write it off as a bit of a unexpectedly stressful one. But in the end, like, things have turned out pretty good. We don't have to worry about dupes as much. We're in a spot, we're ready for some boat maintenance stuff that we've got to do soon. So it's all worked out in the end. There's a washing machine on site and it's only two pounds, which if you're not used to laundrettes, that's like two pounds, but that's really cheap. So I'm gonna do a load of washing and it's really cute. There's like a communal washing line. So I'm gonna hang the stuff up on there. While Amy's taking you to the laundry, I'm gonna cook us up some breakfast. Come on. It's a new day and we are feeling a lot better this morning. We were really worried about dupes and then we had a mega long cruise to do. Then when we got to the marina, it's great, but it just wasn't as easy as like mooring up. We're kind of double moored. And then just as we were coming to terms with the situation and starting to calm down, one of the boats next to us, turns out it's a project boat, and it turned up with loads of power tools and we thought, oh no, it's gonna be loads of noise, but they were lovely, it turns out they just work on it as and when, so they were really considerate, so it wasn't a problem. We're here now, in the marina, we're coming out of the water on Wednesday, um, which will be a whole separate video. So we're here for the week, uh, we're going to settle in for a couple of days before we come out, and then we're going to have a couple of days after we go back in, assuming everything goes to plan, which I'm sure it will. Yes. We're doing much better, and we're having a chilled day today. This is turning into quite a substantial meal. Nice. <laughs> Breakfast done, time to hang up washing. Got these little baskets and all the pegs. I don't know why, it's just really cute to me that they all share like a washing line and pegs and stuff. Thank you for coming to this interview. What makes you qualified to be in this marina? That's what they do every time you enter a new marina. No, it isn't. <laughs> we just, we like marinas, they're really cute, but we do feel quite on edge in a marina because there's like each marina's got its own rules people can be people live people live in such close quarters there's always gossip in a marina they're really nice but we personally just feel like we're on like a school trip where we have to be on our best behavior <laughs> hey mate we're waiting for our washing to finish and she's just really getting into the spirit of things now i'm earning my keep <laughs> How much do you want to take that to the boat and give the floors a quick go? I really do. 
I just go on our floors like this <laughs> with a cloth every now and then. We've already got a tip from one of the the Wintermores here. The meter is still running even though the wash is finished. So if you get here in time, you can put on an extra rin uh, an extra spin cycle. Although it says 12 minutes and there's only 7 minutes left. Then you just put a spin cycle on. Spin and drain. Mm -hmm. Good tip. Just making sure everyone's following the rules. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Amy gets really into it whenever she's got like a roll. <laughs> It's just be policing people because your dog's not supposed to wee on that lawn. You can go that way. <laughs> and I was like, is that a dog? On the lawn? <laughs> oh, does the meter just cut the power then? Yeah, the meter controls the power. Ooh. I hope we can get our stuff out. Me too. Maybe she pranked us. Maybe it was like an initiation joke. Maybe they're hazed. all going to gather and laugh. <laughs> they're going to press them against the glass and laugh. Oh no! Oh no. Oh my god, where's... <gasps> That's not even funny. Maybe she's pranked us. <laughs> <laughs> She's pranked! <laughs> no. She's pranked us. We've got to put money in just to get the door open. We're going to turn around they're all going to be there laughing at us. <laughs> That's a prank if ever I've seen it. It's got to be a prank. Oh dear. We've been pranked. Right, we run back to the boat, get another load. Put two pound in, then that should open the door. Yeah? Yeah, go, go, go. Oh. We've not got long. It's supposed to be a chill day. Ooh. I'm not in your way. <laughs> go, 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 go. On. <laughs> because there's no time. Come on. Come on. What am I doing? I don't know. I'm not helping. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> She's in a laundry frenzy. Get out of my way. Here she comes. Go! Wait there, good boy. Come on, we've got friends. Right. Please work. The reason we're rushing uh, is because we're meant to be meeting our friends at one. Oh, oh, yes. Go, 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 go. Get in there. 40 degrees. Yeah. Fixed. Load. Speed perfect. All is well. We're good. We're sorted. Panic over. Okay, sorry, I'm carrying lots of things. So while Amy's doing that, I've got to go set up our laptops because we're supposed to be having like a little game thing with our friends online. But we did have plenty of time. And that's just made us run late. So there's always something. You got me. We did it! And we've still got five minutes because we're supposed to be online at one. So we're going to play some games with our friends. I am going to have to run at some point to get... We had to put an extra load on just to get our other load out. <laughs> so sorry Robin as well. Um, yeah, the washing's on the line. And they, they feel cleaner than in our normal washing machine. Our normal washing machine does a good job. But they just feel so clean. <laughs> We had a successful little gaming session with our friends online. It's 
basically, for those of you who know like D&D &D stuff, it was like a little one-shot thing they were testing for a charity event that they've got coming up, but it was really fun, a really nice time. It was very silly. <laughs> yeah, and I was just taking Rufus on a little walk around the local park, which is quite nice and close. It's very cold now though, the temperature's definitely dropping yes. again. False spring number two is done. It's freezing. Yeah. They took a lot of the edge off but it's still not fully dry because I mean it has been about two degrees today. We have got double the amount of washing we were planning to have <laughs> which we are now going to have to try and figure out how to dry in the boat. <laughs> but at least we have got a lot of very clean clothes. So we were just sorting out the clothes and uh, getting ready to go have a shower and everything in the marina showers but they're they're on a meter so you have to put money in for the hot water and um, for the power for the shower and Steve from Bears has just had a shower misread the sign and has put like 40 minutes on the shower so he, he's finished he's come around to our boat and he's just said it's still going like the meter is still going, he still used the shower for like another half an hour. So Amy's just whipped round, grabbed her stuff and she's running to go have one now, because may as well. The money's in there already, and then I'm just going to go in a bit. Yeah, there you go. Free long hot shower, the joys of marinas. Got five whole minutes, what a treat. I've missed this. <laughs> oh, that was so nice. I feel so refreshed, even though it was like seven minutes. 50 seconds long shower. It was hot, it was spacious, glorious. It's definitely getting quite cold now though. Oh. How are we getting on with the decorations? <laughs> I don't know where to hang me. <laughs> There's a lot. the younger brother. The annoying younger brother when all you want to do is chill, eh? Successful chilled day. Are you a mint sauce with gravy? Or not mint sauce with gravy? Incorrect. Correct. The best possible combination. Boring. Good tasting, nice food or toothpaste. Let us know. <laughs> Make sure to hit subscribe because you don't want to miss the chaos that is the next episode. Big shout out to the Chip Pals on Patreon as always, and Ben and Helen for the chips today, and Karima for the super thanks. Make sure to follow us on our socials for even more boat time, and we will see you in the next episode. <laughs>